Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Profit Guru to quickly find products that fit your criteria for selling on Amazon. So from the dashboard, you'll want to head over to the products page. You can do that by clicking view products here or products from the side menu. This brings you to the products page where you can set filters so you're only reviewing items that meet your specific criteria. Let's say that I'm looking for a private label opportunity within the toys and games category. I'm going to want a product that is popular, but also one that I believe I can bring to the marketplace and have a real chance to compete against current listings. I'll also want a product to be lightweight to reduce shipping costs for higher margins. So let's take a look at how I can use Profit Guru's filters to help quickly find potential products that fit within this criteria. I'm going to click on Advanced Filters here, and we will set the category to Toys and Games. I will then set the 30-day average sales rank to a maximum of 25,000. Then I will set the number of reviews from 30 to 150. And this is to help ensure I'm looking at products that are popular but not that aren't going to be overly competitive. Next, I'll set the maximum weight to 2.5 pounds to ensure that the products are lightweight. And then finally, to help find opportunities where I can come in and ha have a real chance to compete, I'm going to set the maximum product rating to 3 and listing quality score to a maximum of 5. Uh, this listing quality score is on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, 1 being the worst, so we'll be right here in the middle. Uh, now I'm working on a smaller screen, uh, so if you scroll down, uh, you'll see that in order for me to see all the data, I'd have to scroll to the right because of this small screen, but I don't want to do that. So if you are working on a smaller screen like, like myself, uh, you can minimize the side menu here by clicking on this icon, um, and then you can hide some of these columns that you don't, um, are, you're not particularly interested in for this specific search. So you can click, click on this gear icon, and by deselecting um, these boxes, it will hide the columns. So for this example, I don't really care the number of sellers, if it's sold by Amazon, um, the sellers themselves, how many in total there are. And the weight I do care about, but I do know that all of these are going to be under two and a half pounds. So uh, besides that, I don't necessarily care. So I will deselect that as well. And now you can see I've got a really good snapshot uh, as I scroll um, of, of all the data that, I'm, that I care to see. So we will click search. And we'll start to scroll and quickly review the data. And right away, I'm already seeing a product that catches my eye. Uh, so I want to take a look at this unicorn party bag here. Uh, the first thing I will want to do is uh, review the historical data. So I will click on that icon. And sales rank seems to be pretty consistent. And you can see that. Um, even with an increase in price, so when it was over here at $7.99, uh, even here at $7.99, it had a really good sales rank. Um, and as the price drops, the sales rank really, in a sense, it looks like just overall maintains. So uh, there really could be room for higher profits without impacting sales volume here. Um, besides that, the thing I'd be looking for is um, you know, a seasonal item. Uh, or where there's extreme variations in sales rank pretty consistently. Uh, those I would want to stay away from. I do see a jump here, but you can see that it was out of stock. Nobody was offering it, which is why that jump is there. So um, now, um, now that I don't see anything really alarming with regards to the history of this product, I'll take the time to dig a little deeper and check out uh, the listing on Amazon. So I can quickly do that by clicking this Amazon icon here. And here, I want to review opportunities uh, that I have to create a better listing than this one. So immediately, I'm going to look at the, pro uh, the product images. And I, I know I can do a better job with these images, maybe even create a video here. So that's a good thing. Uh, I can come in and try to influence the consumer uh, to purchase my product over this one just by images alone. The next, uh, we will look at the product description. Okay, so this is pretty bland. It could be formatted much better. 
uh, with more content that is more um, inf more to influence the the cons the customer to buy this product rather o over a competitor's. Uh, so I can definitely do a better job here. And then lastly, what I want to look at is the reviews. Uh, basically, I want to I want to look for opportunities that I have uh, to come in and actually have a better product that addresses the um, problems with this product. So I can do that by seeing what these customers are saying negatively about this product. So I see there's definitely a quality issue. So it seems to be not sturdy, flimsy, cosmetic issues, uh, low quality. Yeah, so, so definitely something that I could address and um, create a better quality product and have a competitive advantage there. So overall, uh, this looks like a really promising um, product that I would like to add to a list of potential products. And I can easily do that by jumping back over to Profit Guru. And you'll see this little tag button here. You can click on that. And you, you can either select, if you have already tags that you've created, you can easily select. But I will create a new tag. You can color code your tags. So I will go with orange and we will, if I could spell, potential private label tag we will create. Now the cool thing about that is I can continue on and uh, looking for products and keep adding to that list uh, by adding more tags as they come along. And then later on I can always come back and filter by those tags. So uh, as that list grows, uh, at some point I'm going to want to look at all my potential private label pr uh, products and start to review them a little bit closer uh, before making decisions on, on um, prioritizing them. So uh, that's about it for uh, product research. As you can see, Profit Guru makes it extremely simple to find products that meet your criteria to sell on Amazon. Thanks for stopping by, guys, and happy selling. Oh, <laughs>